Hi, I'm Mick Lemaire and this is GW News from the 143rd Open Championship. Of course, the buzz here is all about Tiger, teeing up tomorrow for his first major of the year. Woods was Royal Liverpool's last Open champion in 2006 and although marred by a recent injury and winless since the start of last season, the 14-time major winner is confident he can conquer these links once more. I've been in circumstances like this before. You know, if you remember in 08, I had knee surgery right after the Masters. I didn't tee it up till the US Open and won a US Open. Um, I didn't play more than nine holes and um, <laughs> the Sunday before the US Open, I didn't break 50 for nine holes and I still was able to win it in the playoff. Um, you know, no ACL and a broken leg. So um, I've, I've proven that I can do it and it's just a matter of you know, putting my game and um, give myself the best chances you know, this week to miss the ball in the correct spots, to be aggressive when I can, and um, obviously to hold putts. And um, you know, that's, uh, that's a recipe that you find every, for every major championship, but I just gotta do it this week. Following last week's Scottish Open, Rory McIlroy feels as prepared as he's ever been going into a major championship, after four testing rounds on the links of Royal Aberdeen. Following some sporadic score patterns of late, perhaps the biggest challenge McIlroy could face this week is his own mindset. You know, it just it seems like I've just you know, been caught out this year just by a, a bad stretch of holes every tournament, and that's really been it. The only, you know, I even, you know, I shot three over for the front nine at Wentworth on the Friday, uh, but recovered shooting four under on the back nine and, and being able to shoot something under par. So, um, you know, if I can just eliminate that, and I think it's, it's easier to eliminate some of the bad stuff than it is to try and find some of the good stuff because the good stuff's in there obviously with some of the low scores that I'm shooting I just need to try and keep it a little tighter whenever you know things aren't 100% on the golf course. Now there's a lesser known pro competing in the Open Championship this week and he's gathered quite the following here in Hoylake. John Singleton first tried to make it as a professional golfer almost a decade ago and qualified for this year's Open by making it through both regional qualifying last month and final qualifying on the 1st of July. The factory worker lives just minutes down the road from Royal Liverpool Golf Club and has somewhat of a home advantage. I'd like to think so, but I, I, like you just said, you know, these are the best golfers in the world and obviously, um, you know, if I can gain a slight advantage over them, then, but, you know, then that's great. Um, I don't really think it'll count for too much, but, um, you know, but I will hold on to that faint bit of hope that it does. That's all for today. The course is ready, everybody is in place. The players are putting the final touches to their game before we start tomorrow, and the fans are eagerly anticipating what's sure to be a thrilling Open Championship. We will be back with all the news from the first morning tomorrow. In the meantime, check out our behind the scenes access on Instagram, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter at Golfing World TV.